The vision of wickedness and impending danger is due to some device hidden in a place unknown to the present intelligence. That's what I have to tell you. And maybe even ignored. In other words, oh, that's, that's not important. This weapon is in a human mind. And the weapon that is in this human mind came to me when I saw some alphabetical letters. I saw some letters. At first I thought it was A to Z. Now this is a, a puzzle to me right now. But God almost said to me, focus on this. So that the mystery can be unfolded. The letters were A and Q. That's all I saw. And he said, that's where it's at. Then I saw Russia. I saw Pakistan. And I saw a connection. That's all I saw there. And I remember that, but I didn't say it. That's important for you to take note of. Go out there and research. Sunil's going to as well. The vision of fire and water. Now, I was absolutely surrounded by evil. And I felt as Daniel did praying for his people. Now, let me just tell you what Daniel said. He said, while I was praying, the man Gabriel. Now, remember, Gabriel is one of the most powerful angels. Whom I'd seen in the vision at the beginning. Being caused to fly swiftly. Now, you think about God and time. Why would it, God need an angel to move rapidly? Because see, men have power to control things that happen on the earth. Because God put man on the earth. So when things happen, they can retard it, they can slow it down, or they can hasten it. And so he caused, the angel was caused to fly swiftly. That's what Daniel says. And it reached me about the time of the evening offering. And I, I want you to get this, because... It's, it's so few people realize and understand the power of the evening offering. Because he says, the angel arrived and got to me about the time of the evening offering. was standing in my garden and suddenly the spirit came and removed from my eyes scales I was praying for America and I was praying for Israel nothing unusual and suddenly behind me starting behind my back going in the form of an arrow for hundreds of thousands of people and I turned around and I was stunned at what I saw this was not just a mere dream but this was a vision and so I raised my hand like this and every one of them raised their hands I looked back and they were doing the same thing I shouted and they all shouted they were one they were one one party one party of people it continued until I realized that the unity of these Amongst them stood one that God had set aside to be the leader of this nation. I couldn't quite see his face because that was not allowed. Because there was a mist that covered all the people and he was amongst them. And the Spirit of God made me look at him and he said, This man will throttle the enemies of Israel. This man will throttle the enemies of the West and there are highly embarrassing moments that are about to occur for many many politicians in this nation there will be a shaking amongst there will be a shaking amongst the de Democrats in the upcoming elections but unsettling for the Republicans 
Why is, why is God doing this? For God said, I am dissatisfied with what emerges from both parties. And then there is a nation he showed me, took me, itching for a new kind of war with America. They will shout, impeach, impeach, they say. But no. This nation shall come very subtly. But he shall not come in the time of President Obama. They shall come when this new one arises, my David, that I have set aside for this nation. And they shall say, what is your plan for this, this giant? And he will take a simple stone. Remember the name. And he will hold it up and they will laugh at him. But the plan is so brilliant, says the Lord. It could only have been given by me. <laughs> Come on! They will shout, impeach, impeach, but this shall not happen. And then God says, highly embarrassing moments when another Snowden arises. And people will become very afraid. They'll say, we have no protection. And then God says, am I impressed with your weapons of war? Am I impressed with the strength of your men's legs? Ha! I have said I will bring this nation to its knees. And God said, you have been humbled. And yet some more. And then you shall hear the sounds of great victory. For where are the people gathered? Where are my people gathered? Where is the sound of unity from my people? I want just this crowd here and all the thousands watching all over the world. Just do me a favor. Just for about 30 seconds, raise up your voice and shout. Come on! says once you recognize the man that I have raised up pray for the enemy will do everything in his power to put a witch in the White House did anybody hear what he just said of once compassionate women have cooked their own children and their children have become food for them your children have become food for who are once compassionate women your children will no longer be your food you shall not use them and take them out of the womb anymore says the Lord watch how I change everything for there shall be those who are in justice and those there are those who are in a strong position I'm just hearing this now in the highest court in the land what? the highest court in the land the supreme court two shall step down for the embarrassment of what shall take place for I wish to place in the highest court in the land righteousness and they shall attempt to put others in to endeavor to reach their endeavors but God says hear me tonight hear me today I have this whole thing planned out but I became aware of extreme heat and danger 
My body overwhelmed, was overwhelmed by it, it was, it was like radiance and fire. And fear struck me for, for the first time. And that's when I said, it's okay, it's okay. Because I could, I, it's almost like I was trying to tell somebody it, it, that was in this vision. But fear struck me for the first time. Was this nuclear? Was this atomic? Uh, was this, what was this that I was feeling? Was I interceding on behalf of Israel and America? I believe I was, first of all. But at that point, there were multiple visions. And a question seemed to arise constantly. Armageddon, the slaughter of humanity, an atomic war no one wanted but which no one had the wisdom to avoid. Now I need to say that to you again and I want you to listen to it because this is what I heard. Armageddon, the slaughter of humanity, an atomic war no one wanted but which no one had the wisdom to avoid. What were we to pray for? For wisdom. Now I have said, go back, for this shall be dismantled, so that there will be no more corruption in the White House, says the Spirit. Donald Trump wasn't elected because he was a saint. Donald Trump was elected because he believes in the Constitution. He didn't have to do this job. Uh, I wanted you to know that about three years ago, and this I'd like everybody to kind of hear, even in the back. About three years ago, a group of generals came to me and it was explained to me they were, gonna, they were ready to conduct a coup d'etat. They were ready to move Barack Obama from office military force and then a few weeks later I got another call and said that they were reconsidering you know why they were reconsidering because they talked to Donald Trump and Trump had agreed Trump agreed that he would run and they agreed if he would run, they would conduct their coup d'etat as a legitimate process, re rooting out the traitors within government. And that pact between the military and Donald Trump has held. QAnon is military intelligence. And close to Trump. And the intelligence we're getting really is a lot of the inside script. Now, everybody says Donald Trump is going to lose, he's going to be out of office, he's going to be impeached. You watch CNN and MSNBC, they're throwing a party today, and all the 20 people watching them across the nation are very enthused. <laughs> Donald Trump will not be removed from office. He will not be removed from office. Yeah. And in the and the counterattack he's going to launch. They are, there's a very simple word that describes what they are. Traitors. Traitors. It's a capital crime. And I want to predict to you here today that when the tables turn, Donald Trump will be invoking military tribunals. And even Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama are going to be facing treason charges. It will not end, and Donald Trump will have the courage to do that. He doesn't remember, he doesn't need the job. Donald Trump has a vision of the future in which he continues to play a role. And he's seen that vision and he's had that vision with him for decades. And it, it's in, it, it's all, every time it looks to me, I've said this about Donald Trump, I've known him for decades. I said, Donald Trump always looks like he's going to lose until just before he wins.